Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and for any of you Samsung Galaxy S25 owners out there, today is a great day because Samsung has finally updated the Google Play system update that has been stuck on October 1st since day one of us owning these devices. Now, you can see here we actually have the latest update which is March 1st. Now the Galaxy S24 series that is on the beta is running February 1st. I think the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Flip 6 that's on beta for Samsung One UI 7 is also February 1st. So this is the latest update that has ever been pushed out and we are finally running it here on the Galaxy S25 series. So in today's video, I will share with you why this is so important to have the latest update and not be stuck on something from five or six months ago. It's because the Google Play system update, it is all all of the Google Play services, all of the Google services, Wear OS, Android OS, uh, your vehicles OS, your watches, and everything is all in one. So that's actually called a mainline update, not just a software update. So for example, when it comes down to my Galaxy Watch right over here, this is the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. This one has been asking me to reset it at least once a week uh, for the last few weeks. And I believe that this will hopefully fix it because here we are, we have uh, where it states the Google Play services and Wear OS. So when some people think that maybe it's not because of the Google Play system update that's causing issues, where there is a lot of connections that comes with this watch and our phone. So to kind of prove that I think that this update right here for the Google Play system update is something that will help the issue with the Galaxy Watches that is asking us to reset your watch. This was from a video that I uploaded the other day. That icon right there is the Google Play services icon. So if you go into Google, you type in the Google Play system update or just Google Play services, you can see the icon right there, which is the same one that was on my watch. So because my phone was getting these monthly updates, but the Google Play system update wasn't, there was a little bit of issues when it comes down to some things that was connecting. So maybe if you have issues connecting to your car and it's Android base, that is where hopefully this update will come to play and also fix it. So let's kind of go even more deep with this Google Play system update and exactly what it does. So they include updates from Google to the Android operating system, the Google Play Store, the Google Play services, the Google system updates uh, for phones, tablets, Android TV, Google TV, Android Auto, uh, cars with Android Automotive OS or built-in uh, you also have Wear OS devices, Chrome OS devices, and then you can keep on scrolling through here to kind of see what some of those things do. This right here is part of this March update, and they kind of do an update every two weeks when it comes down to the Google Play system update. And a lot of times it's kind of for like the Google Play Store uh, and I think maybe even a couple other things, but right here just says general bug fixes and reliability improvements for your Google partner setup. The Google Play services, uh, this one was for your phone. With the new features, you can now easily lock and unlock your supervised devices. It also gave support to the phone. With this feature, you'll see an update UI when your phone notifies you of new features. You also have system management, so this is going for auto, PC, uh, phone, TV, and where. So updates to the system management services that improve stability. With updates to Google services page and the setup wizard, you'll find the Google Play update preferences settings. Uh, also for the phone, with this feature, you'll find additional information about over-the-air updates in the setup wizard during the update. Also for wallet for your phone, this update improves buy flows for a wallet in Japan. Uh, this feature lets users share images with Google Wallet to create passes. And then Google Play Store, there's more phone. So pretty much right here, you can find personalized app content based on your installed apps in the Google Play Store. You can also browse related content through Play Collections on the App Store or Apps Home. And also prevent accidental purchases. It now requires you to slide instead of a tap on the play button and then other stuff for the web view and then here is more this one was a little bit earlier on march 24th not march 31st you still have more stuff here for google play services so if i was to go through this full list of all of these things here not only just from march because you can see it was you know uh what was that the 24th we also have the 17th of march uh, scrolling on down, you have the 17th, the 14th, the 10th. So as you scroll through here, more than likely, I would be able to find something that has to do with connections with Wear OS, 
or something like that with wearables because there's all of this in February and then all of the ones from January that I still didn't go through. So here's the January one. So all of this stuff now is finally been updated to this phone. Remember, we were stuck on October 1st. So if I was to go back inside of my images here, this was the picture from just earlier today at 2.40 when I pretty much found this update. So this was what we were stuck on, which was October 1st. And all of this stuff that's right here, all this stuff that was here new for January, the stuff for February, the stuff for March, it is now finally all a part of this phone. And that is why it is so important. So hopefully that means that Samsung has watched my past videos here very recently where I'm pretty much asking them what the heck is going on with all of the Google Play system updates and all of the regular monthly security updates where I've shown all these different phones. They all had all different months and this one was the oldest one. Uh, and then I was also comparing the S24 and the S25 where the S24 was just leaps and bounds ahead when it comes down to everything software uh, and behind the scenes that was better than the S25 series, even though this had the better features, obviously when it comes down to, you know, camera and the processor and such. But now that this is updated finally with the Google Play system update, we're finally just a little bit closer. Now all we need is our April update, which will hopefully come very soon, which will bring some of those features and changes and animation changes from the S24 over to the S25, just because they were liked so much. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit and subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.